Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Gentlemen's Pursuits Podcast. My name is Ryan, and how is everyone doing? I hope you're doing well, happy, staying hydrated, drink your water, <laughs> and eating healthy. So recently, I've been thinking a lot, uh, as in, you know, what I should do with the podcast, what I should do with the website, how should I grow this and that. And I feel like I should, you know,、uh, it came to a point where I feel like I should explain to you why and what exactly is gentleman pursuits. Maybe I've done so in previous episodes, but just I barely touched on the topic, like the real motive behind it. And obviously, if you're not interested in the backstory or the reason behind, you can always check out the previous episodes where I talk about watches. The last episode is Zenith. So you can feel free to click away right now. So, gentlemen, pursuits. Gentlemen, pursuits is a is a is a place where you can come to read about whiskey and watches. But why is it called the gentlemen pursuits? And also, as you may have noticed, I am trying to be as、uh, transparent here with my goal and vision with you because. Without a strong reason from me, there would never be a strong reason for you to stay here and continue to consume my content that I put out. So I think it is more. I think it's more and more uncommon for us to see what is so-called a gentleman. And of course, when I mention the word gentleman, most people may think of、um, a man in suits, sophisticated looking, and. And really, you know, really well dressed and presented, but but is that what a gentleman is about? Them calling it a gentleman pursuits is because not only should a gentleman be presentable, the essence of being a gentleman is of course his character. A gentleman is the character rank. It describes someone's character and not only on how it looks. Let's say you got、uh, you you got the character part done. You're a really nice person. You treat everyone fairly. Another key factor to becoming a gentleman is: Are you actively learning about stuff?、Right? Learning a hobby, learning about yourself, just be in tune with yourself in general. That's the pursuit part. You're. You're really nice to people, as I say. You're really nice to people. You treat them fairly, overall presentable to the outside world. But what about yourself? Are you presentable to yourself? Right? A gentleman should forever be on the quest to learn. And in this case, I chose watches and whiskeys because, in my opinion, they really they're really interesting to learn about. And obviously, it's something that I'm passionate about.、And、this is my own gentleman's pursuit. Watches and whiskeys. It can it can be a lot of different stuff. It can be I don't know history. It can be photography. It can be basketball. It can even be martial arts. It doesn't matter. The whole idea is that to find that something that you are motivated to mo- motivated enough to keep learning about and keep coming back to it because you resonate with it and that adds to your character. So the name gentleman pursuits overall means that to be a real gentleman, the look is sometimes the last thing you should worry about. But don't get me wrong; I'm not saying that you can just go around looking super messy and not well groomed and expect people to look past it. But often people focus on the look too much and they forget about the core value.、And、that's how. That's how I came up with the name, but the whole idea of the content hub,、um, you know, of running the website Gentleman Pursuits, is that I want to change how people consume watch and whiskey related content. So,、uh, as you may have known, Hodinkee is like one of the biggest, probably the biggest,、uh, watch content website on earth right now, right? But Hodinkee started out as a hobby blog, and then a few years later, Time named it, 50, you know, the 50 best website on earth, and New York Times dubbed Benjamin Clymer the high priest of horology. So Hodinkee has been dominating the online watch infotainment scene for a long time now, and still dominating. And I am, and I'm a huge fan. However, there's a switch of trend here. I don't know if you agree with me or not. You don't have to. It's my opinion, after all. 
the trend of absorbing content has switched to a much faster pace. In a sense that sometimes, um, let me try to paint you a picture here. Let's say you're waiting in line for coffee, okay? And then you pull out your phone, you found this article online talking about a watch that you, uh, you're interested in. Uh, whatever your favorite watch is my let's say it's iwc da vinci perpetual calendar my favorite watch it is a really extensive article about the watch and i have three minutes before my attention is directed somewhere else right i don't know if this happens to you too but after a while let's say you ordered right and then you want to come back to the same article you just lost interest in the same article because and want to read something else because your attention is somewhere else now so there's like a cut between reading it and then reading it again because you ordered you were ordering coffee so the super well written review on the watch that i like was passed by me just like that because my attention span is really short and i don't i believe that there are people out there that love reading uh watch reviews have the same problem too like their attention span is not as long now I'm not saying long reviews are bad. They are probably the best out there because people, uh, the writers that wrote it, it's it's really hard to write a long, extensive, detailed review without making it boring. To be honest, and I feel like people in Hodinki, they they don't write boring articles. Props like, so props to everyone that they're doing that. But I'm trying to redefine redefine reviews as in. It can be short and succinct. It can be a three-minute read, and you will learn all you need to know about that watch or that whiskey, you know, by skipping all the jazzy and big words, just being straight to the point and tell you what you need to know about the watch. And this is also why I started doing podcasts. It's because I I believe that people are. You know, actively finding finding new ways to consume content without in without interrupting with their daily schedule. So, like you know, with podcasts, you can just pop your earbuds in, listen to me talk, and then you can go work out, you can clean the house, you can do whatever you want, right? It's, it's like a new way to consume content. That's why podcast is so popular right now. Uh, that's also something I want to achieve is to give you guys an an easier way to learn stuff instead of sitting down finding my website finding that article and then read it <laughs> yeah i know it, like it's it's in our nature to be lazy but then this brings new you know brings us to a new horizon of content consuming and this is perhaps the whole reason why i want to do general pursuits is because i want to change how people view watch and whiskey reviews, and kind of remove that stigma of oh, watches have to be super sophisticated. You have to be super rich to get into watch collecting. I can't do watch collecting, but I can spend a, you know a grand on new phones and stuff. Right? It doesn't make sense. So I'm trying to change that because for you watch lovers, you know how. Interesting horology can be how crazy watches can get, and I want to spread the love of watches. I want people to understand it more instead of thinking that they can't get into it because you need to be rich to get into it. So yeah, this is basically my whole vision and the purpose of this, of the gentleman pursuits and. I hope you like it. I hope you like、uh, what I'm trying to achieve. What I, the picture I painted you, and I hope you like this episode. This is, I know this is not your usual watch talk、um, episodes, but, but I feel like this is equally important, and I would, I just want to let you know that this is where I'm going with. So, hope you guys liked it.、Uh, thank you for tuning in. And if you like、uh, the content that I put out every week,、uh, please follow the podcast or sh-、uh, share it with your friends.、I、really appreciate that. Really, you you have no idea. <laughs> so yeah, 
Have a nice day, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.